All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Francis Ngannou and Biggie Boy Jarzinho Rosenstrand. Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, and these fans love prelims, man. They're here from fight one through fight 13, and, and for us as broadcasters, it's always a treat to call fights with that type of energy. It's fun to call fights, and there are a lot of people there. When you come to Canada, every time it's completely full. Tonight, they have filled every single game, and they're expecting a great fight. Really timing issue. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he has Using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. And those knees aren't just for effect, those are doing real damage. Nice punch by Ngana. Lands a double leg takedown. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but did not react quick enough to secure top position. All right, so just like that, back to a standing position. We will see who has the advantage. Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? It's hard to watch. I can't imagine it feels off. You've watched Francis put out an entire generation of heavyweight that came before him. Put out Overeem. Put out Velasquez. Put out Dos Santos, and he did it all with that beautiful right hand. It is one of the deadliest weapons in all of its martial arts. And he comes through with a big knee. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great shot. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the corner. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. He blocks the punch. What a tricky head kick. Strikes got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh! Let's get going now. Punch is blocked. Oh, and once again, he's landing some really nicely timed and placed knees here. And his opponent has just got to do a better job of blocking these, finding a way to get in the way of some of these significant strikes. Big punch lands over the top. How's it gonna fall? Oh! oh. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights. That flying knee is so perfect. Kind of makes me want to try one. All right, round two. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Battle for position here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Wow, what a kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Good work blocking the knee. Trying the flying knee there. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Oh, oh, oh he goes with the punch and he lands. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's sort of hanging out here, unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Pretty good elbow there from the bottom. Gotta stay active off of your back. 
All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. And back to his feet. Oh, he finally stretched the body. This could be the end. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of it. All right, now we go inside the octagon.